Michigan lawmakers are set to release new school safety recommendations in a couple of weeks. It is the work of a bipartisan task force formed after the Oxford school shooting. State representatives are already pushing to get more money for schools for on-site sworn police officers. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples reports that some districts don't have the money or resources to put officers in schools, and the Kent County School District didn't want one. We have our high school. Tressa Beltran isn't just police it's chief, really she's grandma. Because I have a granddaughter in high school. In fact, she has grandkids at the high, middle, and elementary schools in this small Van Buren County town. What Hartford does not have, at least for now, is a full-time school resource officer. But we try to get in there as much as we can. But Beltran says her department, like many, is short-staffed as it is, with four full-time officers, one part-time, and some reserves. She tried to offer one of those experienced and armed reserve officers to the district, but says Hartford's superintendent, who has since moved on, only wanted a sworn officer. And in a perfect world, it would be a certified officer. I just don't have that luxury right now. She tried to get the state attorney general's support to use a reserve officer, but the AG said it only offers opinions on state matters. I'm beside myself. I'm mad. Uh, I, I just, these are children. No one tracks exactly how many school resource officers are in Michigan schools, but nearly all of Kent County's school districts have at least one on-site school resource officer, or SRO. It's up to the school administrators. Um, to figure out what's what works well for them. Kent County Sergeant Eric Brunner, who used to be a school resource officer himself, says if a tip comes in about a gun in a locker, SROs can immediately search the locker. Regular patrol officers would need a warrant. Last fall, when a student reported that this teen had a gun in his backpack at Byron Center High School, within minutes, the building's on-site deputy had seized the gun, which had an extended magazine and 32 live rounds. That same teen is now charged with killing his own father last month. That day-to-day -day presence on site has been very successful, a lot of positive feedback. But Target 8 discovered one of Kent County's 12 school districts declined to bring on a school resource officer. And it happened to be the district where two people were shot last week after a graduation at East Kentwood Stadium. Kentwood Public Schools, whose high school is located in the county, is the only district in Kent County without a school resource officer. Superintendent Kevin Polston told Target 8 in a statement that police are still routinely on campus in support of events and school operations. He wrote, we feel very good about the support that law enforcement has provided KPS and we continually evaluate our safety plan. Not everyone supports police in schools and that criticism grew louder in the wake of the murder of George Floyd. The ACLU told Target 8, many schools are under-resourced and rather than adding police, our focus should be adding more teachers, social workers and counselors. The State House has proposed $50 million in next year's budget go to help districts hire school resource officers. The Michigan Sheriff's Association told me that would be enough to hire about 500 school resource officers. Michigan has 886 school districts.